what is up guys here's randy aka pillow and today i will make a banner for you guys now it's pretty easy to do and if you guys watch the whole video through it's going because this is just going to show you how to make a simple banner it's pretty simple and this is all done in adobe photoshop so let's start now the first thing delete this uh we're just going to click on we're just going to copy copy and paste a youtube banner so we're gonna go to youtube banner template and we're gonna go to images and all we got to do is click on the image and we are going to copy image now oh it's the wrong it was the wrong size so we're gonna go to rgb color again all right, so I am back. Uh, I got, I had the wrong size. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this and we're going to Control V. And it's what you wanna do is go up to the rulers, the one, uh, the little numbers up top, and you're gonna click and put these on top and on the bottom of these two lines right here. Um, and you're gonna click again and you're gonna put one on the bottom. And now you could delete layer zero and all you have to do is um, wait not add new layer you're gonna take the rectangle tool right here and we are going to make two rectangles uh, let's zoom out a little bit and we are going to take two rectangles and we're gonna put them one on top and one at the bottom same thing I'm gonna put them black since black just makes it makes the contrast way better and there we have it so we're going we're able to delete the um template now and now we should have that command z sorry because you know that disappeared and now we just find an image uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna use this image we're gonna copy image and control v you're gonna put this on the bottom and that should be fine actually and now we have it like this so we what we're gonna do first is we're gonna add the tag right here and the font uh, for now I'm gonna use uh, 4b which is one that I just downloaded uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for the thing I use to get fonts and stuff it's called the font you guys should know about it so I'm gonna make the text either white or any color you want and we over here we're gonna add text and we're gonna I'm gonna put uh, I have this cool thing cool thing that I like to do so I'm gonna take the eclipse tool and I make a big circle now this big circle is gonna serve us as a uh, division now what do I mean by division well you're gonna see now so what we're gonna do with the circle is we're going to take the bottom of it and we're gonna to and we're going to put it on top over here and as you can see it kind of creates the little um, I guess gap if you want to call it like that and that should be it for now we're gonna come back to the Eclipse tool ellipse um, and we are going to go to the text tools I mean to the text that we did which is tutorial and we're gonna add two strokes now what you're gonna do is we're gonna add all the strokes and as you guys can see you can see them over there uh, and the last stroke which white is gonna be inside so we're gonna put this one as white and this one on top as black and as you guys can see it looks much better now we're gonna put this outside and we're gonna rise down the stroke a little bit that this one is the wrong one we're gonna put down the stroke so it looks nice but it also doesn't look too shabby and we're gonna make the white one a little uh, higher and then we're going to add this one 
which has a white color type and we're gonna change it to overlay now what this is gonna do is is gonna make it like transparent so let's size it up it's gonna make it like transparent is gonna give it a nice contrast um, and then after that sorry about that we're gonna put a drop shadow you're gonna make this a little bigger make it black of course because I I did a project before this one and it was kind of you know dookie but it wasn't my friend really really liked it and it was pretty nice so now as you guys can see you can see the letters pretty well I am NOT gonna change that white color I like it it, it, it suits the picture very well so now we're gonna go back to the shape uh, the ellipse and what we're gonna do is we're going to add a gradient overlay and we are going to take this uh, a random color and what we're gonna do is we're gonna match it to the background a little bit so it should be like this purplish blue a little bit and for the back one we are going to use pinkish orange so it's gonna be over here almost and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on normal if you had it in somewhere else and we're gonna add all the strokes now your strokes want to be bigger so we're gonna size that up significantly I recommend like a decent size and now as you guys can see it makes like a nice little line actually instead of a gradient overlay you guys could also put a color uh, I recommend matching it to the color that it has over here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put like a nice blue we don't want it too dark but too light at the same time and we're gonna click on OK We gotta make these strokes a little bigger. To make them stand out really nice. And as you guys can see, we have this. Which is very, very nice right now. So we're gonna click on the ellipse tool again. And what we're gonna do is we are going to make a another circle right under the tutorial the stroke you're gonna make it uh, white I guess you're gonna size it up making it 